Say ready. Hello, wine drinking people. Hello, wine drinking people. All right. Today is Wednesday, June thirtieth, and uh, we had a show earlier in the year where I had got to bring Antonio in, bring your kid to work day, and obviously it's the summertime, so Isabella's off school. She was a little upset she didn't get to be part of the show, so she is here today with us to tell you a little bit about what we have to sell today. But first. We've got a few drinking opportunities this week. We've got uh, Summer White Tasting at Cafe Max, which is tonight. And I'm sorry, that's all we've got for this week. And then next week, we've got a few things coming up. Uh, check it out on the calendar of events. And then we are off to Texas for a week. So we are leaving town again, right? Who are we going to go see in Texas? Naya. Naya. Who's Naya? Naya is my friend and lives in Texas. Why don't you know her? Oh, okay. That's your cousin, actually. So what have we got to sell you today? Well, today we have got, uh, well, just another one of these wineries that is changing distributors. One of our favorite properties from the Barossa Val Valley, Torbreck Winery. And you know what happens when wineries change distributors? Things go on sale. So we've got some great pricing on the current releases from Torbreck, uh, which are 06, 07, uh, 08, and even some 09 stuff on this offering. And then we have some very special <coughs> old wines from our warehouse, the Run Rig Torbrick's top wine that is made from 40 to 120 year old Shiraz vines and with a little touch of Viognier like they do in the Northern Rhone. Uh, Torbrick's owner David Powell has been in business in the Barossa since 1994 while he was working at uh, Rockford Winery in 1992. Rockford, one of the uh, legendary wineries of the Barossa, some of the top names have come through Rockford Winery like Chris Ringland, um, our good friend um, uh, Mr. Rusden, uh, uh, Christian Canuck. And uh, some other great names have made wine there. As I said, uh, this is a legendary property in the Barossa. And Torbrek is kind of the third wave of legendary producers starting in the 90s when a lot of these smaller producers got started when the boom of the great Australian wine boom started. Well, today, uh, the wine boom is pretty much over with. And a shock wave has kind of destroyed most of these small producers that crept up in the late 90s. Fortunately, Torbrek has survived this earthquake, and uh, there's a lot of uh, great wines in this portfolio. Check them out on today's email. We've got the whole entire lineup from the Woodcutters White and Red uh, all the way up to the Run Rig going back to 1997, and we've even got a magnum of this 97 on this offering. All right, this is your host, Andrew, and <laughs> what's your name? Lampasone signing off for the Wine Watch saying, remember... What do we say at the end? Always drink the good stuff first. <laughs> Can you say that for me? Can you give me an always Remember, drink the good stuff first? Always drink the good stuff first. All right.